Steve Ramsey is a YouTuber that teaches woodworking to mere mortals, but the question everyone wants answered is, does that mean Steve Ramsey is not a mere mortal? Is he, perhaps, something else? Hey everybody, welcome to Worst Workshop. I'm David, I'm here with Princess. And today we're gonna watch a video by Steve Ramsey. You know about Steve Ramsey? No, I don't. Okay, well you're gonna learn about him. Uh, today we're going to try to make a wooden doormat that he made a few weeks back. And it's one that he's made several times in the past. Can regular people like us do it? What do you think? Are we gonna be able to? No. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna find out. Let's watch the video. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another great looking, simple, practical woodworking project. I especially like this wooden doormat because it's just so unique and it also makes a great gift project. I'm no expert on this, but I think this might be something that would sell well at craft shows or online. It's also the type of project that you could probably figure out ways to batch it out pretty efficiently. I'll be able to build the entire so project he's thinking out of this make one like a whole two bunch by of them really six quick. redwood board. It's <laughs> eight feet long and there's going to be very little leftovers. I picked up this board at the local Orange Box Home Center for 25 bucks. Redwood, redwood is really an amazing species of lumber. Okay, so he's using redwood. We don't really have redwood where we are. Insect so we're going to have to do something else. We well could do cedar, weather. but this I think it's a little bit too so expensive. 3248 for cedar so I can cut it up into two by threes and one by twos or let's just go with the pressure treated stuff. We'll save time and money. A few more odds and ends and thank you Orange Box Home Center. When you've got kids in the workshop, the number one rule is don't do anything they can do. Okay, wait, scratch that. Number one rule is don't do anything they can do safely. We don't want anybody to die or lose fingers here, but you know that you could do it quicker. You know that you could probably do a better job, but that's not really why you brought your kids into the workshop, is it? So let them make mistakes and enjoy the time that you have. Next, we cut a groove in the frame. I know I'm doing something super dangerous here, but I can't quite figure out what it is. Would you do me a favor and go down to the comments section and tell me what an idiot I am and why? That's my favorite part of having a YouTube channel. We're coating everything in a deck stain, not just for the color, but so it'll protect it too. The camera shut off in the middle of this, which is unfortunate, but predictable because it's getting really hot in here and the camera keeps overheating. So this is gonna be a common theme that we'll come back to. I think what we could have done is just wipe that stain off and then finish the whole thing in an afternoon. But like I said, it was really hot and we needed to go inside. So what we did instead was wait till the next day. This was one of the most fun parts of the build where we strung the steel rods through the holes that we drilled in the slats. Between each one of them, we put a neoprene faucet washer, just like Steve Ramsey did. And it worked out great, except for the fact that these washers were supposed to have a quarter inch inner diameter and the rod was a quarter inch rod and somehow they didn't fit. So had to use a little bit of muscle and tactic to get them to go on. After that, we really hit our groove where I started jamming those washers onto the rod and then Princess picked out the prettiest boards to go next in line. This played to our strengths, it worked. Pretty soon we had it done. Dad gum, that looks pretty good. It's ridiculously hot in here. Tomorrow the temperature outside is gonna get over 100 degrees, which means that in here, it's gonna be ridiculously hot. We wanna to continue to bring you the content that you're used to seeing on YouTube. And I'm gonna to try to do that, but I usually make content with my kids and I don't want them in this workshop right now. We've got probably $500 worth of electrical upgrades to be made before we can even do the air conditioner. And we've got a lot of walls with big holes in them. We've got no soffit boards. So there's a lot of work to be done. We'd like to bring you along for the journey. Thanks for your help, stupid bugs. We appreciate you. So I set up the cut for the mitered corners and had Princess do it. However, 
because of like math and angles and stuff, it it wasn't right, okay? It just wasn't right, but we can do it again. Steve spends a lot of time sneaking up on the miter cuts, just taking off a little bit at a time. I thought that was dumb. I thought, yeah, I'll just measure it. It'll be fine. It turns out I was wrong. Uh, it really is better to sneak up on those cuts, and I'm sure that somebody could measure it correctly, but I'm not at that level. Now, it should be noted that I'm maybe not the best cinematographer on YouTube, but wow, look at that. That's cinema. Genius. Brilliant! I cut those steel rods so that I can fit them in holes in the edges. If that doesn't make sense, I think it'll make sense later when you see us put it together. I asked Princess to do the final assembly because it's the most fun. I think it's really important to leave the most fun parts of your project to your kids. It's critical to helping them develop an appreciation for this hobby in the hopes that they may carry it on someday. But really, if that's not a good enough reason, it's also kind of fun to laugh at them when they don't know where the pieces go. The plans called for pocket holes to hold the frame together. I don't have a problem with pocket holes for something like this, but we use dowels. Why? I don't know. I guess I just like them. There it was. Not bad if I do say so myself. So final verdict. Is Steve Ramsey an alien sent from outer space to make the rest of us look bad or is he merely a mortal? Well, I think you know my verdict on that. If you saw his first doormat as compared to his second doormat, you see the progress he's made as a woodworker, which is really what this is all about. I get a lot of messages from people saying, gosh, I relate to this so much and the mistakes you make. And my message to you is just keep going. You don't get to be one of these great woodworkers in a day. You've got to work at it for a long time. I've been doing this for 30 years and I still stink, but maybe someday if I keep at it, my daughters might be decent. <laughs>